Hi there, Curiosity Got The Cat. Yes, I'm Black Bright and welcome to my channel. If you've not been here before, please subscribe, share and like. I talk about a variety of topics. Um, there's never one thing apart, f there's no um, consistency in the terms of the subject, but the theme is always that I'm offering advice to people, um, trying to help where I can. And to just alert people of what's new, exciting, or what's not so exciting, and what sometimes is quite sad and tragic. But today, um, this is another piece of good news. It's about Jamaica's new initiative to get on board with esports. Um, esports is an electronic sport, and even though I don't approve of gambling, I've got a funny feeling it will curtail crime. Because, you know, I believe that. Jamaicans in particular are extremely competitive and I believe if they can get all of their um, tensions out by doing a game and being competitive in that way, it could actually be constructive. So let me tell you what's happening. Um, Jamaica's latest craze, the esports, and I'm not saying latest because esports is new, I know that esports has been out since 1958 when they did tennis for two, and I know it's since been out when they've had other games. You know, it's been you know in memorial. But as technology improves, so does the way things happen and the way they construct it. So yes, yeah, so it's new in in the sense that it's going to be on a massive platform, and yeah, and Jamaica's taking it on. It's already in America, it's all over the place. But let me just read this exciting venture that some of you may be interested in. Jamaica wants to be on board with a 30 billion industry. Um, 30 billion translates into English pounds. I always like to do this. Into an 182 million, 333,000, 200,200. That's what it would be translate to in English pounds. So a 30 billion industry and multiplayer video game played competitively for spectators. Apparently, it's the latest craze where millions of people enjoy watching esports and millions have been paid out in prize money. Chief Executive Officer of T-Tech, Christopher Reckford, has cited esport as a lucrative global industry that offers opportunity for investment locally. It's a kind of a nice name to get around saying gambling, but it is really gambling. And while I don't, yeah. Um, it is about considering how we can take the digital prowess of some of our developers with the know-how, training and digitize and create things such as apps and software and sell a billion of it globally, Mr. Redford said. I can actually see it taking off, big time. I can imagine that they will fund and launch their own competitions for players, all that black, gold and green across our screens, can you imagine? But I guess they're gonna to have to do it for towns in order to, I'd, I'd like to see different towns compete against each other. Um, yes, yeah, so there is something called the Jamaica Esport Initiative, and they are looking to bring the World Olympics of Esport here. So you do not need any field, just an arena with some massive screens and about a hundred thousand people sitting down in their homes all over the world, but connected back in Jamaica, all doing the stuff digitally. This is Mr. Reckford's dream of it happening. Uh, so Jamaica is currently working out how they can make their dream a reality. And this is me. I would imagine Jamaica esports teams to be made up of counties and regions who play in leagues or tournaments throughout the year, ending up as one final event. Some of these leagues or tournaments are region-pacific, meaning that for the most of the year, Hanover could play St. Elizabeth, St. James plays against Trelawney, St. Catherine plays against St. Mary, St. Thomas plays against Portland, St. Andrews plays against Kingston, and so on. 
And I guess if that was the case, they would actually have to have um, a colour for their team. But I would like to see the Jamaican colours being the central colour and maybe a town colour that identifies them from their particular area. Don't you think that would be wicked? Anyway, esports is not a new phenomenon. As I said before, Tennis for Two came out in 1958 and competitive gaming has been improved ever since. Um, I think for the younger of you, in 1972, you may remember the intergalactic space war. That's where gaming really took off. So no longer something that is done in one room by gamers on the same machine. It has transformed into an event that can include hundreds of players at once in different locations around the world on different consoles and devices linked to an internet connection. I mean, this internet is big. I mean, when you think what it can do, esports is simply the short term for electronic sports. Just like football players play football together, esports players play a computer game against each other. At an esports competition, gamers will battle against each other on particular games with fans watching on screen. So it could be quite exciting. Can you imagine all that BC and what's it not and all that kind of thing? Yeah, so I can imagine it really being quite passionate and loud and exciting. And, you know, like how they do play the domino, boom, with the domino. Six love and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, a game streaming platform such as Twitch and YouTube have helped turn competitions into global events. Professional gaming is now a multi-million pound business with thousands of fans filling arenas to watch players compete against one another. The Overwatch League Grand Finals that was held in New York has sold out 20,000 seater Barclays Centre. 20,000, you know. So this will make bucks. I mean, I'm not quite sure how people get involved watching people play the game but maybe it's just like watching like they say it's like watching football and you're watching people play this game and compete against each other i guess it's like people watching you know standing around and watching people play chess only this will be more exciting one of the stipulations is that they can't have it can't be violent i think one of the boards that govern these things um and i think that's fair because can you imagine people pull out their shooter <laughs> and get mad <laughs> Oh boy. Anyway, in 2017, the total prize money on offer at the international and esports competition for a battle arena game, Dota 2, was more than $24 million. That's not Jamaican dollars, that's US dollars. The winner of the FIFA E World Cup in London was $250,000. 141,000 pounds. While the Overwatch League prize pot is over one million dollars. Boy, I tell you. You know, and the thing is, it's a shame that it's gambling. But there again, it's not really gambling for the people who are watching. They're just paying for a seat, aren't they? So I don't think it is gambling because it's competitive playing because it's the people who are competing against each other who get the prize. So no, it's not gambling. I was kind of thinking of people betting on them, but I don't know if they do bet on them. I don't know how it works. Maybe they do bet on their teams. Yeah, they probably bet on their teams and that's where the prize money comes from. Or do they, they bet on their teams and that's where, or they're paying for their seats. That's where the prize money. Maybe it's a combination of both because with horses, people bet on the horse but I don't think they have to pay to go to the race. Anyway, I'm sure that's something that they'll work out amongst themselves. What do I know about this? I'm just sharing information. Um, the uh, International Olympic Committee, IOC, have concluded that esports could be considered a sport, but must not feature violence. I'm glad to hear that. Organisers of the Paris 2024 Games have already expressed an interest in including esports and possibly the 20, 2022 Asian Games. So it is getting big. It is going to be a worldwide thing. 
all things being equal, things remaining the same. Brexit doesn't put a spanner in the works and all that kind of stuff. We don't have no wars and all of those things that are looming over our heads. But yeah, you know, visually and, you know, fulfilling some kind of aspiration, it does look pretty good for Jamaica. So Jamaica is on track with where the action is. Esports is estimated to be worth 1.5 billion US dollars for by 2020 with some players that are already competing for prize pools of up to 24 million American dollars. If Jamaica goes international, competitions can come with huge prizes, plus sponsorships, deals for the teams involved. So, big up Jamaica. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.